Welcome everyone to episode 2 where I talk about respawns and revivers. When you spawn into the game, you start in the respawner. Take a few minutes to hit F1 and view the controls. You probably haven't played a game like Worlds of Drift before with a grappling hook. Take time to get a feel for the controls and using the grappling hook. Depending on where you spawn, you might be rather high up and you should at least be familiar with how to lower and raise your character up and down to safely get out of the respawner. Next, let's talk about respawning. You get the option when you die or when you hit the escape key. You can click on respawn and you are presented with several options. The first option is personal reviver. Because you don't yet have a respawner on a ship, this is not an option for now. Once you add a personal reviver to a ship, this option becomes available and you can respawn on your ship. The second option is nearby revival chamber. Use this to respawn at a random revival chamber on the same island you've just spawned at. This will always respawn you to the closest nearby island revival chamber, even if you are on a ship when choosing this option. The third option is the random revival chamber. This will spawn you anywhere within the zone randomly. You start with two uses and earn one for each 24 hours that passes out of game. You generally only want to use this option if you are stuck on an island with little in the way of resources and materials to build a ship, or you run into problems with PvP in the area. Next, if you have a ship that you need to bind to, you must first enter the shipyard code if the ship is docked. If the ship is in the air, all you'll need to do is target the respawner, which is empty, hold down E, and it will take a few seconds to bind your character to the respawner. If you use the random respawner after you've bound to a ship, note that it will clear your respawn off the ship and you will no longer be able to respawn to the ship with that option. That's it for this episode, and thanks again for watching.